Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to talk about one of the treatments for dry eye syndrome, which are punctal plugs or plugs placed in the tear drain to help patients keep more of their own tears around longer for better lubrication on their eyes. To better understand exactly how these plugs work and where they are, we'll have to look at the eye model to learn the anatomy of where the tears normally go. So there are many tear glands on the eye and underneath the eyelids that make the tears and then cover the, over the eye. These tears naturally are produced and then drain out through the eyelids. And if this were the nose, if this were someone's left eye, there's one tear drain in the bottom eyelid towards the center and one tear drain in the top eyelid towards the center. Those tear drains meet together and then drain out into the nose. That's the natural course for the tears to go. And that's why if you ever use eye drops, sometimes you can taste these tears or the drops that you put in your eye as they drain into the nose to the back of the throat and you can get a little taste there. If we place a plug in the tear drain, it restricts the flow. So just like when you put a plug in a bathtub, it allows the water level to come up. By doing that, less tears drain naturally as they do from the eye into the nose and they stay around in the eye longer. There are different types of plugs that we can use. Some are temporary plugs, which can block the tear drain tempor temporarily and then they will dissolve. Or we can use a plastic or silicone, more permanent type of plug that can last a long time, sometimes many years. With these more permanent types of plugs, many times they will fall out of the eye, maybe about one third of the time at some point, and they can be replaced if they need to be. The placement of the plug is a very straightforward procedure that we do in the office many days a week. And using the same microscope that we examine the eye with, we're able to get a close up view of the area and put the plug right in the tear drain. This is one of just many treatments that are available for dry eye syndrome. Uh, if you want more details about dry eyes, you can refer back to episode number 14 of A State of Sight, where we went into more detail about uh, the whole aspects of dry eye syndrome. So if you have any comments or questions about tear drain plugs or any other treatments for dry eyes, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you. And we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.